Anyhow, it's your boy, Jerry Gore, coming from almost heaven, West Virginia. Back at it again, guys. Anyways, um, I'm on here. I'm going to make another video today. Uh, I was thinking about, like I said, I was telling y'all about me uh, being in jail and I went to prison. I'm going to tell you about uh, the first time I uh, went to prison. It was the first first three months was the hardest time of my life man i'd never been to prison before jail or whatever uh by sides uh you know overnight you know getting in the fights or some dumb shit like that but anyways uh i got jumped and i want to tell y'all about that story and when i went to visit i got jumped and went to visit my mom see me afterwards and she was crying and uh she was scared to death i ain't gonna lie man it tested me it was a testament you know what I mean? Uh, it was hard times. But anyways, uh, like I said, they put me in uh, uh, one of the roughest pods in there uh, in Southern Regional Jail. Uh, there's B8 and uh, uh, B1, and they're right beside each other. And uh, they call them the jungle. But anyways, it's Gladiator School, whatever. So uh, I go in there, like I said, never been there. First time back to the pods. And after I was doing good, my cousin was in there, and you know I had cousins in other parts of the jail, but I decided to go in with this one cousin. I ain't gonna name his name, you know, embarrassing, but uh, he punked out on me or whatever. So I ain't gonna put him out there like that. I'll just call him. Uh, I won't say his last name, but Stevie G. Everybody from my hometown to know who I'm talking about. But uh, he's my cousin uh, through a marriage, but he's not my uh, blood cousin. But anyways, I'm going to tell you this story. <laughs> I got jumped by uh, four Crips. Anyways, it didn't have nothing to do with me. I'm going to tell you about uh, the reason why I got jumped and what happened. I want to hear y'all's comments and uh, y'all's thoughts. Or even just to like it and laugh at it, think it's funny. You know, hit the like button or ring the bell, whatever you got, you got to do. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm going to tell y'all this story. So anyways... After a couple of weeks, I thought I was doing good, man. Smooth sailing. Wasn't getting in no fights or nothing. Everybody, every Tuesday was commissary day. So every Tuesday, somebody was getting jumped. And their commissary was getting taken. Well, I've done smooth sailing by. I ain't been in no fights and been in no trouble. Nobody was fucking with me. Excuse my uh, French. Anyways, so, anyways, my... We get a uh, Sally, me and this dude uh, from Bluefield, one of my homies. Shout out to Marley, uh, Marley Mars. Uh, Marley Mars and me get this Sally. And I'm going to show y'all a picture of him. He's from Maryland. Shout out William DeJesus. But uh, William DeJesus comes in the pot, man, and he was in there tripping. He'd been to just did a 10 year prison sentence. And then he comes to West Virginia, uh, running from the law, gets caught down here. And they give you 10 days or the. Uh, 10 to 14 days for they extradite you back or they let you go free to the state where you know he was uh wasn't fighting uh, extradition but anyways on the last day they came uh ended up coming and getting him but he was tripping every five minutes saying yo dog my girl does she love me is she gonna leave me uh, uh, uh man what am i gonna do can i buy you uh, can i can i use the phone can i get some money for uh, for the phone please man uh can your mom call my uh my girl real quick can she text a message for me please man so man i Really didn't want to let him in the cell because he looked crazy looking. He looked, he got tattoos all over him. Uh, mixed dude. Like I said, he's cool as shit when I got to meet him. But anyways, uh, I'm going to show you a picture of him right now. Like I said, his name's uh, uh, William DeJesus. They call him Billy. I'm going to show you a picture. Check this out. Uh, what do y'all think? This dude want to come and be your celly. Right here. William DeJesus. All right, I'm going to tell you why I got jumped. Well, anyways, William DeJesus was uh, staying in our cell. And uh, after about, he, he could speak Spanish because he's uh, Spanish and uh, black uh, and uh, uh, some other uh, Middle Eastern descent. But anyways, he could speak Spanish and um, he was, uh, he befriended these Mexicans upstairs. Actually, it was from... Uh, uh, El Salvador, uh, dude been shot, but he can't speak no English, 
Man, he was cool as hell, too. They call him Juan. He got busted for mad dope, man. Uh, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of dope. He, dope. he got set up in a hotel on Harper Road in Beckley, West Virginia. But anyways, Juan could uh, speak, he couldn't speak no English. So, uh, William de Jesus went upstairs and uh, started selling with him about after eight, nine days of the uh, of, uh, time before he was about to leave. We well, went upstairs, and well, little did he, uh, did we know, William uh, De Jesus went upstairs and started stealing the dude's phone time. Now everybody knows in prison or in jail, if you steal somebody's phone time, phone time, some shit's about to happen. Something bad's about to happen. Well, anyways, so that Mexican cannot, cannot speak a bit of English at all, but he managed to get out uh, that he was getting shit stolen from him. So he managed to tell the dude that run the pod his name. Is OG. They called him OG. He was a California Crip, a big time shot caller out of California. His name was Orlando Davis. He was in there for murder. Knocked the dude out. You can look it up. Orlando Davis, Princeton, West Virginia. He got 50 some years. Uh, damn, they was knocking him in the head. But he got 50 some years uh, for murder and robbery. You can look it up. Uh, Orlando Davis. Princeton, West Virginia, Bluefield, West Virginia. But anyways, Orlando Davis, if I can get a picture in a minute, I'll show you. So anyways, the Mexican, or El Salvadorian, uh, got, you know, got on with uh, the people and started telling him he got his stuff stolen. Well, so, man, the whole daggone half the pod was crypt. Like I said, every Tuesday, people was getting their commissary. Every white boy was getting his shit taken on commissary day. Like I said, I'm not white. I'm mixed. I, I, but I said, like I said, I'd escaped the whole time up until this point. So I knew it was a something was about to happen. You know what I mean? Cause and leave it up to somebody else to fuck it up for me. Oh, excuse my language. Anyways, but like I said, the Jesus they go upstairs and uh, Orlando he gets his uh, goons. They go up there and uh, two of them jump the Jesus. Well, De Jesus told me that they used to call him Little uh, Manny Pacquiao in prison. And Lil, uh, oh man, he said he was whooping their ass up in Maryland, and I didn't believe him. Well, they went in there, and it took everything they had for these two crips to whoop him. Well, finally, a third one came uh, and ran in the door and whoop, uh, whooped him. Well, it come time, it was like 30 minutes before Chow when that happened, so... He's walking around the pod after he got whooped, and he's uh, walking around back and forth, lumped up, mad as hell, pacing back and forth. So I'm trying to, like, not be involved in the situation, so I'm kind of, you know, just not trying. I knew if I go up and talk to him, they was going to try to come at me. So I kind of try to stay away from him. So he was walking laps, walking laps, and then he was staring at me walking laps. Well, we was getting in uh the line to get our child so everybody is uh, like 50 people lined up so they just had jumped to dude they should have known that he was going to retaliate so i'm standing in line ready to get my tray well he comes up to me and starts talking i'm like fuck here we go so he starts talking to me and uh the dude he's like look bro should i go ahead and check out the pod man and just take it as a loss or should i uh try to do something man, i said Bro, I don't, you don't know any of these guys. You don't owe anybody nothing, man. Do what you got to do, man. Nobody knows you here. It, it, the worst thing you can do is check out of a pod. Well, anyways, I didn't tell him uh, what he should do, but I just didn't want to get involved with it. So he's told me he was going to check out. But he said, watch what I'm about to do. And I'm like, fuck. I didn't even want to know parts of it. Well, anyways, long story short, the Jesus, all of a sudden, bends down in between me right now I'm about to get my tray, jumps up and cracks this dude in the face, bro. I mean, sounded like a shotgun going off. Bow! Hits this dude right in the uh, side of his jaw. I mean, rocks his damn world. You got knocked the fuck out. Well, anyways... The dude's jaw instantly was out to here, man. It was huge, man. Damn, I'm like, oh, shit. So anyways, as soon as he did that, he ran. The CEO was handing the trays out. He did it. He ran out the door, okay? 
when he ran out the door, man, I've never seen no crazy shit like this. Seven or eight Crips all of a sudden grabs the CO, holds the CO, runs out the pod. And now these are secure doors. You can get uh, uh, in trouble for doing this. You're going to get uh, for escape. I don't care. If you breach one door, you're getting escape. Major shit. Well, anyway, so he runs. There's sliders all the way down the control. And there was three doors. And for those COs to respond to it, they had to come all the way because the dude up in the tower told them it was a fight going on. So these COs are trying to respond to this fight or whatever. So this little crazy Manny Pacquiao, man, he was bobbing and weaving, pop, pop, just decking these dudes. I'm telling you, it was crazy, man. So anyways, they, they couldn't get to him. So finally, when the COs got through there, boom, 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 they break up the fight. So... People, they take the six uh, people out there and start locking them up and uh, putting them up there to investigate and stuff like that. Well, when they came back to the, bo the pod, that those guys came back. They said they seen the Jesus, little Pacquiao, up there in the front, and he was laughing through the window at him. So I'm like, damn, I know some shit's about to go down. So I said, it's on, man. I could just feel bad about it. Well, for like two or three days, man, I'm telling my cousin, you know, and he was pretty pretty good friends when he was running tattoos to him or whatever. So I'm telling my cousin, oh, look, man, they about to do something to me. I can feel that type of vibe. And when you're in prison or in jail, you know that type of vibe, okay? They start looking at you weird. You can just feel it in the air, man. If you've never been to prison or jail or worked there like I have, I've did both, you will know what I'm talking about. You can cut the uh, air with a knife. But anyhow, the uh, dude, uh, like I said, he uh, got out of the pod. They weren't worried about him no more. So it come around commissary day. You know, I'm sitting there, and I I was still worried about it. I've been telling my cousin, man, they're going to jump me, man. Uh, and my cousin had a knife in his cell. It looked like a machete. So I'm sitting there. We good, man. I, I don't want to go to jail for murder. And I was facing 14 in life, but I knew I wasn't going to get that much time because I would – Take it to the box if I have to. I knew they didn't have enough evidence against me. So I was going to uh, plead it like a two to something. I wasn't going out uh, and fucking, uh, you know, unless they take me to trial. And it's his word against mine on this case. I'll tell you all about that later. But anyways, like I said, it was a, a robbery charge. Uh, first degree robbery, malicious assault, uh, entering without breaking, all kinds of dumb shit. I, I ended up pleading out to unlawful assault uh, and I had to pay the dude's... Uh, pay the medical bills and all that well anyway long story short so after that commissary day i go in there and get my shit like 40 dollars worth of shit so i go in there get some daggone jolly ranchers all right so i go to my uh cousin's cell and i'm sitting there you know i don't put my shit up it's like 30 40 minutes later i'm sitting there man i look over and there is nine dudes nine dudes big ass dudes one of them straight murder killed a dude with his hands the main dude, they come up, man, they block the door so we can't get out the cell. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, we about to get it on. My cousin them's got my back. Little did I know, my cousin gave the knife up the day before because they tricked him. And so when they come in there, it's like, look, you got to shoot the fade with my homeboy because they, they said you knew that he was going to do this to us. And I'm like, man, I didn't know nothing about that. I ain't want to get involved with that shit. I'm not no fucking rat. I'm not going to come and tell you what he's about to do or, or get involved with any type of that shit. I said, I stick to myself. I'm not getting involved with that gang bullshit and all that bullshit that comes along with it. Well, anyways, so they was like, they told my cousin, like, you can shoot the, he's going to shoot the fade with him. You can uh, stay in here or whatever, but he's going to shoot the fade with this dude. This dude, uh, they call him Marco or whatever. You know what I mean? So anyways, so all of a sudden, my cousin goes out of the room. His uh, roommate goes out the room. They leave me in there with these dudes, man. The other guy stood outside the door and and just watched. So the dudes are in there with me. All right, so I look at the main dude. And when I seen the look in his eyes, I knew they was about to hurt me. So I'm like, I looked at the main dude. And as soon as I looked at him, I turned around and stroked Marco, man. Bow! I hit him. So we're tussling around and shit. And I could look out the corner of my eyes and I could see the other uh, guys getting close to me. The 
killer, the main dude I was worried about, Davis, he come up by, by my side. So anyways, all of a sudden I just covered up. I knew what was about to happen. Boom, hit me. Fall on the ground. And they got this shit called a tombstone. If you've ever been in a cell, you can get killed in these cells. Nothing but concrete. Nothing but concrete. Bro, for three minutes, they stomped me out, man. For three minutes. Well, finally, I got, I said, I'm going to die in this shit in my head. So I jumped, jumped up. And luckily, they couldn't kick me in the head or nothing because my head was under the tombstone. So it was protecting me. Thank God. God was looking out for me that day. People died over there uh, a little bit after that over in the same jail. Uh, they jumped same way. Same thing happened. But anyways, long story short. So I got to my feet. Dude, when I got up, the Orlando Davis, the main dude, hits me. Boom. Man, I fall on the ground. Then this other dude, I jump up. This dude, Ant Johnson, we became cool afterwards. That Ant punched me in my temple. And Ant is a crazy dude. Man, he's from Beckley. He'll shoot you in a heartbeat. And Ant was in there. He had got a fucking first degree robbery in jail for beating a dude. Uh, and taking his plug uh, while he was in jail, taking his drugs from him. He had a first-degree robbery charge on him in jail. But anyways, long story short, Ant punched me in the temple. Well, I about back, I fall again, about black out, jump back up, and then they leave the cell. Man, then, you know, a week after, uh, a couple of days after that, they left me alone. A couple of days after that, that, the white dude seen what happened, went and jumped my cousin because he didn't help me. He didn't stay in there with me. He was my blood. They took it as that and said, bro, we're checking you. We're PCing you up. They took his shoes off of him, brand new shoes, beat him up, put him in a cell, checked him out. Straight up, man. That was one of my wildest stories. I mean, I got plenty more, but uh, I'd like to hear uh, y'all's comments about that. I want to tell y'all that funny story. Like, subscribe. Uh, do what you got to do. Jerry Gore, West Virginia. I got all my teeth. Wild and wonderful West Virginia. Out.